Hi, Tom Cole, the coach for Buckeye Cable System and BCSN. And welcome into another edition of Sports Flash. And got two uh, outstanding uh, young men from uh, Siena Heights. And first of all, great offensive coordinator Mike McGee. Mike, welcome. And uh, next, a uh, great running back at Siena, a redshirt sophomore, Dante Fox. Gentlemen, uh, so glad to have you here. Mike, we'll start with you. Uh, offensive coordinator, you guys win a league championship. I was talking to your head coach, uh, outstanding head coach Jim Lyle, just a little bit ago. First of all, what you guys did, you can't do. I'll just tell you that, Mike. You won a league championship in four years with no football program. You started it from the ground up. Mm -hmm. it usually takes about eight to ten to do that. You did it in four, so right. incredible accomplishment. Uh, I saw your offense when we did the, uh, the games on BCSN, privilege to do it. You had a great mix, mm -hmm. great mix of run pass. And I, and I really respected that because so many people – get so pass happy that they can't run when they have to run the football and be physical. Right. And then their defense never sees physicality, so they can't stop the run. Right. And right. football will still always come down to there's a time you got to run it and there's a time you got to stop it. Where'd you get your offensive philosophy and ideas? You know, I got my offensive philosophy from a lot of different people. Um, you know, it's not just one person that, okay. that helped mold what, you know, what I like to do. And uh, I had a lot of help last year from uh, Ken Calhoun. Um, you know, he, he co offensed the coordinator for yes. me last year with me. Uh, and uh, he did a great job with me. And so a lot of his philosophies and a lot of my philosophies mixed together. Um, I learned from, uh, you know, I started off of being a graduate assistant for uh, uh, Jeff Hancock, uh, who was part of our program. So I learned a lot of things from him from when I played for him and, and when he was here. And also Stan Parrish, uh, who was a former uh, NFL uh, quarterback yeah. coach and was a uh, offensive coordinator in Michigan for a lot of years. And uh, so, you know, a lot of those guys mixed together, you know, helped mold what I, what I like to do. You know, if you asked me three or four years ago about – being an offensive coordinator, I wanted to pass the ball 80 times. Together, right, you know? that's yeah. you know <laughs> you learn. You know you, you learn. learn that, yeah, you, know, you, you do learn. Be able to run the football, so yeah, that, you know yeah. that, that that was part of my learning. Process. I had the same learning curve. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I like to throw it coming off the bus, right. but there comes a point in time yep. where if you cannot effectively run the football, right. you know I, I still can't you know pull you in on the Seattle deal. Uh, I, I'm watching that game and I got Lynch in the backfield. Uh, I need a yard, and I'm thinking to myself, and I, I, and I get the deal. Yeah. Okay, they put in the goal line package, mm -hmm. the big fat guys come in, yeah. and they're going to be cute. Well, they put in the big fat guys, so we'll throw the ball. But yeah. Marshawn Lynch, yeah, you, you, you give him the football, coach, don't you? You know what? I never like to you know, second say, guess, second, right, right. say anything about other coaches and their decisions. You know, because I know it's it's a different ball game when you're up in the box. The and coaches, Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> I know, it's Marshawn Lynch. <laughs> I mean, I if give it was another there. running back, I would say, you know. Yeah, I'm yeah. giving it to him at least two times. I, it, and I always saw, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then if you got to throw it on the last down, right. you take the big guy out who was six foot five who was killing him, right. and you put him out there in the fade, and you just Still say, hey. Out as well, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Coach, you know, you were an outstanding quarterback in your college days at, at Adrian. I've always believed that a quarterback had, not that it, you have to be that, mm -hmm. but I think it helps you as an offensive coordinator because for so long you've been dealing with what everybody was doing on offense and then what the defense is trying to do to you, right. reading DBs, reading coverages. How much did that help you as a coordinator? It helped me a lot. Um, to be a quarterback, you know, you, you are a, a direct reflection of the offensive coordinator. Right. And, uh, you know, that's why so many offensive coordinators coach the quarterbacks. Um, because they have to, you, as a quarterback, you have to know, you have to think like your offensive coordinator. So that thought process of learning how to watch film, uh, uh, learning how to uh, communicate with other players, all that stuff is, is, is are things that I learned that carried over to me being off, being a coach. Yeah. Well, you got a good one uh, coming back uh, this football season. Dante Fox, number thirty four in the program. Dante's a outstanding athlete, uh, going to be a, a star at Siena Heights. Dante. What's the learning curve? You know, I, this, this really gets me sometimes because we deal with so many young kids and we cover, you know, 35-odd high schools and everybody thinks that they can play in college. You know, the, I mean, it, it just drives me. I, you want to tell them, you know, it's a different level. And what have you learned when you started out, you know, where have you progressed as far as the learning curve of what it takes to actually play? Well, I think it all starts off with your mindset. It's all about how you come into college and how you presume it. Because there's kids that come in with the mindset, oh, yeah, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to start right right away. I'm going right. to come and play my first year. I mean, everyone has that dream. They have that thought. But the thing that I feel like I kind of, like, separated myself from was, like, I'm going to work my way into it. I'm going to yes. make sure. And if that – and. If it comes the first week or the last week or the next year, you know, that's where you want to be ready. You want to make sure you're ready to play. You want to make sure you know what you're doing because if you don't and you mess up, everyone knows. Yeah, and, and, and if, you're, if you mess up, there's 
two, three, four, yep. five guys around you that are just as good yes. as you. The competition that, is intense. Yeah. It's intense at every position. It's intense at every school. It's not something that 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 just comes easy. No, yes. Like everyone wants to play. Everyone wants to Absolutely. get reps. Everyone wants to do this and that. Everyone in practice, you know, you, sometimes you have to fight for reps because there's some guys who want to go in more than others, you know. Right. So. It gets really intense a lot of the time. Well, Dante, I'll share with you. I went to a, a D2 school like, like you and like Coach Mike coaches at in Siena uh, called Ohio Wesleyan. And mm -hmm. when I was recruited to play quarterback, the, the, the coach told me, he said, well, you're a, you're a freshman guy, so you'll be the freshman. And, you know, we got a guy in front of you that's, you know, he's okay. And, uh, but you're, you know, you'll be the guy. <laughs> well, I show up. And they, they put all the freshmen were there early. I don't know if you guys do that, but the freshmen were there early a couple of days of practice before the, the regular varsity. And mm -hmm. they call the quarterback, so I'm grabbing a couple of footballs, and I'm going over to the – and there are 11 other guys there. And I'm going, <laughs> well, what are you guys? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Quarterback, 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 quarterback. I, I thought I was the guy, you know. But, but it is an adjustment yes. to learn that – Okay, you're gonna have to compete. Nobody's handing you anything. No. And talk about the disappointment because sometimes oh. you get frustrated. Talk about that because yeah. it, it, it's how you handle those frustrations, it really isn't is. it? It really is. And and the way it, that I feel people need to handle it is by knowing that you, you're, you're gonna always have a chance. You're gonna always get opportunities. You just got to take advantage of the opportunities. You can't get disappointed if you mess up. You got to keep learning. You got to learn from other people's mistakes. You got to. Uh, you know, look out for what they're doing right. Look out for what they're doing wrong. Yeah. And, you know, my freshman year when I came in, there was a lot of talented backs. Um, and what I did was I tried to get with all of them as much as I could because they were a lot older than me. And so I get with them, try to, you know, see what they're seeing, see what they're, what they're looking at when they go out there and they're, and they're looking at, line, at defenses and at holes and, and what's their thought pre before the snap, you know. And so... I thought I think that's like one of the biggest things is just trying to learn from other people's mistakes and other people's uh, success uh, at that position and trying to be able to um, kind of not mimic, but, you know, kind of use what they have. You and, copy the and, good and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, use and what you, they have and, and make it your own. You, you know, you hit on a couple of things there, Dante, that are so important and, and but vision, you know. Great running backs, they, they have an ability to see where the linebacker is scraping over and then they'll cut back mm -hmm. against the scrape. Or you, you, you can't not have the vision. And, you know, is that something that you've developed through reps? Have you developed it through film with coach? Yeah. You know, I, I, talk about that. I, I believe that the vision of any position, I mean, even if a wide receiver or a running back, I think it all develops in all around. So, Practice, film, game all of that time, contributes. everything contributes to the vision. And then, with like they say, repetition is key. And yes. so, once you start seeing these things, you start seeing it more often, and you start being able to react to it. It becomes a muscle memory to to the brain. So, uh, I believe that the vision as a running back, um, being able to go out there and practice, and and if you mess up, you know, you you try to figure, you got to figure out what you messed up on, what right. you didn't see, what. What is it that you could do better in the next rep or in the next game or in the next film session that will make sure that you don't make that mistake again or you, or you find that hole or you look for something else that could work better? Coach, this is a smart young man. Uh, I think we maybe make him a co-coordinator. I, like I like the muscle memory thing. Don, my, my problem, Dante, is my muscle memory has been geared to get into the refrigerator. I got I to gotta work a different muscle memory thing. Coach, you know, you're such a good coach and you know how to handle quarterbacks. We have so many young quarterbacks on our network. Give me two things. Or you got a, we got a young kid out in the audience. Maybe he's a sophomore. Maybe he's a junior. He wants to be good at proficient at the quarterback position. Two things that Coach McGee says, this is, these are two things you've got to work on. What would they be? Well, first thing is I would say is um, uh, studying other quarterbacks. Okay. Um, study the greats. You know, go back and – you know, for me, when I me growing up, uh, watching Dan Marino, he's my he's my favorite player. He's phenomenal. Um, and, and he was a guy that I that I wanted to uh, emulate. He, I wanted to be like you know D Dan Marino, his quick release. Yes. Uh, just watching those other quarterbacks to to see if there are different things you can pick up on. I know nowadays with younger guys, it's probably Tom Brady, right, or uh, Peyton Manning, right. Uh, you know, just just try to do your best to to see to to see what they're doing, what which makes what makes them great. Um, and also uh, when it comes to technique. Uh, the main thing is your foot, your your footwork. Right. You know, 
if you have really good footwork and your technique is flawless, uh, you know, there's a, there are a lot of things you can do. You don't have to have the strongest arm in the world. Right. You don't have to throw at 80 yards. Right. Uh, because those throws come from your hips and they come from your you know, come from your footwork. So glad to hear you say that, Coach, because if the feet ain't right, you know, you're not exactly. gonna you're not gonna make it. And <laughs> exactly. you know, Brian Sipe, uh, if we went out in the parking lot right now, Brian Sipe uh, couldn't throw the ball 38 yards. But he's the most prolific passer in the history of the Cleveland Browns right. because he had the right feet, he had the right timing, mm-hmm. he got the ball out there on time, ahead of time, exactly. uh, ahead of the break. Exactly. Anticipation. Uh, anticipation. Yep. Guys, uh, congratulations for what you've accomplished. Uh, you know, it was an honor for us to do the Siena Heights games, and uh, hopefully we'll be back and do them again. It was a great thrill for us, tremendous accomplishment. And 34, we're going to be looking for you, and you're also you're also a major in communication. Yes, so maybe sir. we, you know, we team you up uh, with the tight end that we just talked hey. to, and Donovan, and uh, maybe you guys get your own talk show. Hey, I'm not like, sure. Like a to yeah, me. and I think they're cutting you. <laughs> I think they're cutting you out, Coach. I, I think I know how it works. We got you know? to get it going. All right. Right, guys. Hopefully I'll get my name next to him on that wall, too. <laughs> yeah. Inside the weight room. Congratulations, <laughs> right, guys. Thank you. Thank All right. Tom Coley, coach for Buckeye Cable and BCSN.